I realized at one point as a player, if I wanted things to be different than they were, I looked around and I said, well, why am I expecting someone else to do that? If you can imagine that it's something you wish would be done, who better but you to do it? I'm Yael Averbush West. I am the general manager and head of soccer operations for Gotham FC. I'm a mom and I do a lot of other things, including own my own business called Techni Football. I was forced to step away from playing because of a battle with an illness called ulcerative colitis. Nobody could see what I was going through. So for me, it was really difficult to explain why I couldn't play anymore. I actually credit my business a lot because it allowed me to be ambitious literally from my bed. As a young player, when I dreamed of playing professional soccer, I had in my mind really the life of a, a male professional player. I dreamed of the big stadiums and that my autograph would be worth all this money. I saved my old cleats and jerseys because I thought I could one day sell them for millions of dollars. But the reality is, you know, as an active player, I wasn't making enough money to live, quite honestly. So I had the idea to put all these training ideas into an app format or something that could be widely distributed to players everywhere. We just passed the five-year birthday. We've grown the subscribers. We work with a bunch of soccer players and also teams and clubs. Rather than saying, okay, well, I wish someone would do that, you know, why not me, I think is kind of what I always think. A bit. You are the president of the Players Association, helped launch that this off-season. Um, She's probably one of the most selfless people I've ever met. Like, everything she does, it's like, how is this going to make it better for people who are coming after me while I'm in it? Uh, if I'm not in it, how can I make it better for people who are in it? Gotham FC, which is my hometown club, they were looking for a general manager, and so I got involved on an interim basis. We've got two kids now. We just had our second little boy. We had a lot of discussions over like whether she wanted to do it full time. When I saw the players' response and how much they appreciated that someone who had been in their shoes, literally, was involved, I knew it wouldn't be interim for me. Both of us have talked about for a long time, even before we got married, how we wanted to kind of create a lifestyle where we could be at home with the kids, we could work from home. It took me actually becoming a mother to realize that it doesn't have to be a separate part of my life. I have two jobs and now two kids, and none of them are kind of siloed off as individual segments of myself. They all fit together really nicely. She literally, like, I have to tell her to, to take time for herself. She will not take naps. <laughs> she, she won't relax. But yeah, she's just, she, everyone else is first. I think about my kids learning to take ownership over their journey, and that's something I actually preach to the players. I've always thought like that and kind of didn't realize I thought like that until I had accidentally started some things. Whether it's, you know, leading the Players Association to understand what players are going through. And, and now the same thing, you know, as a business owner and a general manager. And there's a time goal. For me to see that some players are able to kind of live that dream that I had as a younger player has been really rewarding. If you think that there should be something done or something done a certain way, who better but you to do it? <laughs>